us benefit from what God has given us and now we must do advocacy to ensure that uh, no any other foreign country coming to attack us we have God given oil and gas in our country we should benefit from it we shouldn't we should resist any kind of, of attacks from outside other countries those are saying that no, this is not proper. I, I don't think I don't think that's proper to interfere into our development activities. to send students to study, they don't need to go outside the country. There is a lot here, more so as we have now, uh, the petrol, uh, oil and gas in our country. These are God-given resources, and so we must learn to utilize what we have. Because it would really be challenging to have uh, the God-given resources, but we don't have uh, informed and educated people to do the work. What I've seen here, this is a real vision, and I want to appreciate His Excellency, the President of Uganda, and also the Ministry and Minister of Energy, and all other uh, ministers and engineers connected to this work. This is very important. This is a vision that will help our country, especially as we advocate for uh, economic growth in our country. more hands-on training. For example, welding, uh, a person will come here will spend 90% of his time in the workshop, practicing, practicing, practicing. And this 10% is the theory part of it. So when it uh, comes to that, it means that you have to invest more on training materials. So the key driver for costs in such institutions are the consumables. So it means that you must get sufficient funding to support that. Uh, other programs, for example, uh, the, the diploma programs still are different from the, the usual ones. Uh, we ensure that 50% of the time of the students is spent in the workshop. So again, that means you must spend on consumables. Mm -hmm. 